please help me. I'm not working right now. Go somewhere else. No, I don't know where else to go. You're the only one I know. I'm sorry. I'm busy. No, please, please. I already did it this morning, but, but I won't stop bleeding. Go to the hospital. No, I can't do that. Please help me, doctor. Don't call me that. I'm not a doctor anymore. Go I to can't. the hospital. You could, you could die. Stop the bleeding. You should live when that's finished. Is there anyone I can call to help you? No. No one I can call. Please, can I just stay a bit longer so I can get the strength to walk? I can take a taxi. I'll give you two hours. It's 7 p.m. now. You should leave by nine. Thank you. I'm sorry if I disturbed you. Thank you. You didn't have to. It's okay, I've got Letty. This is really good. How did you know to come here? You were my sister's doctor. Ah, yes, I remember you now. You saved her life. She has two kids now. I remember you were the, the warmest and the kindest doctor I had ever met. That was a different lifetime. Here. Barbecue sticks can give you tetanus. I'll give you a shot for that. Who gave you that idea? I was desperate. She sounds even more desperate than me. <laughs> For a science teacher, I could probably. <laughs> this is not me. I'm living a stranger's life. I used to have a husband, friend, successful career. Money. <laughs> no, I can't even afford a decent piece of clothing. I tried to save them. I want to tell you something I have never told anyone before. That night when she died with her child, I should have called for help. In fact, I should have refused to work. I just found out that my, that my husband was leaving me for another woman. I was not in the proper frame of mind to operate. 
<laughs> Maybe I am guilty. Don't think like that. <laughs> Do you think we are going to hell? <laughs> I think that God has an infinite capacity to forgive. And I believe he will forgive us. <laughs> you are probably the only person that I've had a decent conversation with in the last three years. <laughs> Thank you for letting me borrow your clothes. I'll promise to return them next time we see each other. We'll probably never be seeing each other again, so probably just... <laughs>